Good morning. Uh, we're going to do this um, bridge in, in Ipswich. Many of you have asked that I uh, show you the drawing while I do the drawing, so uh, bear with me. Those of you that don't want to watch the drawing, I know it's like watching paint dry, uh, but if you're not interested, just speed ahead to the painting. Okay? All right, the important part of this painting is the, uh, the curves under the bridge. So be careful to get that, get that curve right. And then basically there's a straight line on top of the bridge. So, so there's two, uh, two openings to this bridge. This is a bridge on Concord Country Street, Country Street, a country road in Ipswich. Uh, so we have these two uh, openings. We don't want them to both be, uh, you know, important. We want the importance to be more on one than the other. So, uh, but in the drawing, we want to draw it out uh, equally. So that's very important uh, to get those uh, curves, the arches right. And then uh, above the bridge, there is a house on the left that has three dormers to it. Uh, you want to get that in. Uh, you know, and then there's some other houses in the background. Uh, and those are above the bridge, you know, in the distance. So, you know, you can draw them in here. Uh, make sure the rooftops are clear. That's what's important. We want, we're going to paint down to the rooftops and get that, get that line in. And that's all background stuff, so it's going to be... Um, I'm sorry, I should be uh, pressing harder so you can see the, see the lines better. I apologize. Uh, we'll do the best we can here. Okay, so I'm just sort of jotting in the houses back there. Uh, we're going to, you know, when we paint it, these lines are really just going to be guides for us, you know. All right, there's the bottom of the bridge. And you can see I'm making that up because uh, it's not in the photograph. And the other uh, part of this, these rocks in the front, rocks are very important because they lead us into the painting. And uh, help weigh it down in the front there. So it's, it works out beautifully that those rocks are there. They're in this, this is the Ipswich River flowing right through the town. So just sketch them in, you know, the rocks, the rocks are very important, but we're not going to be doing a portrait of the rocks. They don't have to be exactly the way it is. Uh, so feel free to uh, take liberty in drawing them. And also, you can see I'm using a straight edge to check my lines here. Uh, don't be afraid to do that. You know, a lot of artists don't, don't pretend that this is some kind of handicap because it's not. But... You should try to draw it first and then check your lines with a straight edge. All right, let's get into the painting here. Uh, the sky is just ultramarine with, a, with a, uh, a little touch of phthalo blue. And what I'm doing here is I'm painting down to the uh, top of the rooftops, um, so to the rooftop line. So paint that in, and once you get that in, what I'm doing here is I'm adding some raw sienna to that blue. Uh, there's the rooftops. So I'm painting right into the sky with raw sienna so you get a nice light sense of the trees back there. Adding some more raw sienna. And just get a shape for trees. You know, it's not all, uh, you know, not all one value. They're, they're, there's a, variation in the color there you can see so you can put the put the uh, raw sienna in heavier in one spot and lighter in the other okay all right so there's a line under the houses that's you can actually see from the bridge and what i'm doing here is i'm painting the shadow side of the buildings in the back just the shadow i'm leaving the the light side white and over here that's a, line under the eave of the buildings. That's the side of the building. There's some shade there. 
So it's just a suggestion of those houses back there. You don't need any detail in them. Uh, you know, keep it as simple as possible. See how nice that uh, raw sienna is back there. It's a nice warm color. So over here, I'm just picking up the drip of the blue sky, putting it into, these are the three dormers there. In the photo, the house is brown. It's very dark, and I didn't want to make it brown because I thought it would be too heavy. I'm trying to keep it uh, light and uh, airy back there. Okay, so there's just a suggestion of those buildings and a little shadow. All right. All right, let's get the bridge in. This is just raw sienna. I'm painting, you know, there's uh, some out, out, uh, little outreach by the rocks there that looks like a it kind of looks like a piling we want to make that lighter I put some cobalt blue in it on the right there and I'm just painting those out uh, they're important because they're, they're part of the structure they actually come down into the water the reflection here so I'm letting it go right down not sure how much I'm going to save there but all right so I'm going in I, my damp brush here and just wiping out some of that color. I want that to be lighter. I want those to be uh, much lighter than the rest of it, and they will be. Just touching some cobalt blue into it. The stone is, is a, you know, raw sienna and cobalt blue, so you get a nice warm and cool. Whenever you paint rocks, keep that in mind. It's warm and cool. All right, so here is the water itself. Now, I'm using uh, Thalo blue here, very strong as you can see. I'm going to get it lighter as I come down and I'll, I'll spray that and bring it down. But that's a very rich phthalo blue. And we'll bring it right down into our water. This is the river running under the bridge. And I'm going to do the same on the left side, but then we'll change it. Uh, as I said in the beginning, I don't want these two uh, arches to be fighting uh, optically with each other in the painting. You know, that, that, I like that left side. It's a little bit lighter. So, as I said, I'm going to lighten up that uh, that side on the right there. Okay. All right. That's the bottom of the bridge. painting over the reflections, but I'll bring them down. Okay, so I'm going to spray that, uh, give it a nice spray, let it come down. Get that photo out of your way there. All right, I'm going to bring the water right down to the rocks, and paint around uh, the silhouette of the rocks. We'll bring a lot of color into those rocks later. All right, this is Thalo, uh, I'm sorry, ultramarine blue now. Uh, I'm actually putting a little rose in it. Uh, as you can see in, in the photo, it's very dark. This water is very rich with color and it's moving beautifully. So I'm dropping some nice uh, ultramarine blue there with some rose in it. You can see it's a violet, all right. You can see the weight of the water there in the front. It brings it, it helps to sit it down. Okay, I'm just lightening that up a little bit with, with a damp brush. Give it a little spray. Keep the edges nice and soft. Ultramarine, a little bit of rose. I want a nice combination of blues up there. And let it come down. You know, the reflections always come straight down, so... I'm going to bring it right down to the rock. I'm going to keep going in there with darker colors, still leaving it that strip of ultramarine there, I mean of uh, phthalo blue. All right, back up to the bridge now. It's very dark uh, on, that, on that side. I'm going to paint dark up to that piling. It's not really a piling, but... So I'm going to let the shadow of this bridge come right down into the water covering part of that arch so it doesn't compete with the other arch so just 
just enhancing the arch there. Okay, there's the top of the bridge has a it actually has a big pipe on it. All right, so this is all in shadow, as you can see. If you look at the photo, it's a deep shadow on there. And I'm going to bring that right down into the water. That reflection's coming right down. Just loosen it up. It's very strong near the bridge, and then it gets much looser. And it's very warm, you know, when you paint that dark. The bridge is, raw, is kind of a raw sienna. It's a warm stone. So once you paint that dark, you can go into it and charge it with some raw sienna. Okay? All right, just painting the other side. Some raw sienna in there. Okay, that's the top. More raw sienna. Keep it nice and warm. I, I, I added some quincy in it as well. Just spray, giving it a nice spray. Get that moving down. Get that photo out of the way and bring some of that dark. So just creating some movement in the water there. All right, raw sienna in the rock here. I'm going to bring some beautiful colors into these rocks because they're very strong. But first I want to just get them covered with raw sienna and that blue is dripping from the water, but I'll just paint that right into it. Not a problem. It'll gray it down. <coughs> <coughs> All right, this is the bottom of the water and a little quincienna there. I'm just painting the shape of the rocks now, just the outline. We're going to get in with the darks later and form it. All right, I'm taking my credit card, and uh, you've seen me do this many times. I'm just squeegeeing the color off like a squeegee. Just squeegee it off and use the texture of your paper to get that texture of the rocks. It's very beautiful. And so I'm taking it all off, basically, but I'm going to go back, so... Uh, now I have that texture of the rocks that I can work with. I'm right, just um, very light here, just teasing these colors. I'm creating, trying to create the stone. This is raw sienna and, out, and cobalt blue, warm and cool. Just, just getting the color first. Don't focus on the stone yet. You know, just get some color in there, and then we'll go back and, and form the stone when it's dry. You'll, have, you'll be able to work with it much better. Okay? Cobalt blue, raw sienna. There's a little bit of quincienna, cad red on that bottom platform there as it turns the corner. Okay? On the bottom of the rocks, on the bottom of the stone bridge, it's very dark, so a little quincienna with a touch of ultramarine. It's not black, but it's very warm, so, you know, don't... And like I say, don't try to shape them yet. We'll, we'll get into that. I don't want to get this line in. There's a the top of the bridge, the bottom of the fence. There's a there's a fence up there, obviously. And we'll go around. Nice going, Paul. Nice straight line. Not bad for an old timer. All right, uh, we'll put the uh, the poles of the fence in. Let that shadow come right down. This water is still wet, so it, you know, that where I painted, it's still wet. I'm so I'm going to go even darker there. All right, I'm going to create a very dark uh, movement in, in the water here. This is just ultramarine with a touch of quincienna, but very blue. Keep it on the blue side. Touch your cad red in there. All right, so I'm just going to create some sense of waves sense of movement 
just horizontal strokes. You don't have to, don't worry about it. Just, you know, keep the strokes horizontal. That helps to keep your painting sitting down. And, uh, you know, and the rest is gonna take care of itself here. All right. I left the reflections of those pilings down there on, you know, on the bridge. Nice and dark. Ultramarine, touch of quinciana, little cad red maybe. All right, I'm gonna bring that all the way down. As I get away from the bridge, you know, the uh, underside of the bridge is very dark. That's what's given us the black. But as it gets away from the bridge, it gets much bluer. It's picking up the reflection of the sky, pouring in there, so plenty of color. Ultramarine some phthalo blue okay All right, this is very dark ultramarine with quinciana i'm going to get the dark of these rocks in there good i love the rocks i'm going to have a lot of fun with this okay a lot of colors painting in the crevices and the cracks and shadow on the rock this is very dark this is ultramarine quinciana and i'm going to drop some a little bit of red in there and warm those rocks up. You don't want that black, you know, you don't, you don't want, the black is just a big hole in your paper, so you can see the red there. Some cadmium red, warm that dark right up. All right, so the rock's sitting there. We're gonna let the rock sit there and we'll bring it down. Let the reflection come down. I put a little raw sienna in there. Let's get some color. All right, some red. This is cadmium red with raw sienna mixed in. It's a nice warm color on those rocks. Okay, we've got some nice uh, I left the rock out in, in the center there, uh, uh, but I think I need it. So I just took my straight edge and scraped uh, the water. It's still damp, still wet, so I was able to do that. So I got the light on the top of the rock, and I'm just painting the shadow and the reflection of the rock in the water with, with our, you know, that dark, the ultramarine with the quinciana. It's very dark, but push towards the blue, okay? It's pushing towards that blue side. I'm using it to shape the top of the rocks here. So don't be afraid of it. Get into that dark, see? Just create some waves there with this beautiful dark color. A lot of fun, a lot of rich color here that we can use. All right, and right, I'm gonna go in up here and start creating the stone. That's all dry now, so I can go over it. And I'm just basically painting stones, okay? this is. Cobalt blue, so you paint a stone, leave the next one, the light, raw sienna, and underneath it, go halfway across to the middle of the next stone, and just paint a stone wall, you know, just paint it in, get it done, it'll be all done before you know it. Take your time. Here you go, now do the same thing on these pilings. Really get the nice effect of the stone. All right, I'm putting some trees in now. The trees are in the background. They're actually behind the bridge on, on a piece of land behind the bridge. So, you know, you know how to do trees. And I'm adding here, I just took some uh, light rose that was on my palette and created another layer of trees in the background. Uh, the only thing I want to mention important on the trees, make sure you don't make them all the same, okay? Change the shape, the size, the width, the value, okay? And now they're, they're reflecting down here into the water, so. That gives you a little bit of nice reflection. It also pushes the bridge, it brings the bridge a little forward for us. All right, I'm using a little gouache here mix with some red just to get some 
like sort of lichen, you know, it's like a, almost like a lichen that forms on these rocks. So there's some nice, you know, can, just some nice color, beautiful color in the, in the front there. All right, so have a lot of fun with that. There's, I mixed in some, some uh, quincienna there with the white. And, all right, and it's coming down. All right, we've got a chance to use some real deep color, which is wonderful, you know. All right, work though. Take your time with these rocks and, you know, paint the, the crevices and, you know, take a deep, take a look at it and look how nice and rich and deep, dark and black that color is. It, it really makes it beautiful, you know, it really gives it, jumps, jumps out at you, you know. Okay. All right, I love this. This is a lot of fun. Enjoy it, you know, enjoy this. Take your time with these rocks. They're very important. Okay? All right, thank you so much. I appreciate you joining me again on this journey of watercolor. It's really beautiful. A lot of fun. Thank you so much. Uh, if you have not subscribed, I would appreciate it if you do. And please like it. Just give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much, and I will see you again very soon. Stay safe out there.